YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is kind of a rambly home decor, mini haul. Kind of want to have the home chats about it being after Christmas and kind of snapping the house back from Christmas decor to kind of like normal decor, but kind of like spring decor, if that makes any sense. So I picked up a few new pieces for the house, just small little trinkets um, that I'm going to share with you today. One of them is the cute flowers behind me. So I picked up a few things because after Christmas, I saw this funny meme and it was like, when you take down all the decorations and your house just feels so bare. And um, so I picked up one or two things to kind of make the house cozy after the shock of taking down all your Christmas decorations. And a few pieces just to add a bit of colour to the house um, because the evenings are still dark, we're still in the depths of winter. A lot of you US guys are like knee deep in snow. Um, so I have a few trinkets that I've picked up, a few air press samples, a few I bought, um, just to share with you today um, on how you can kind of make your house a bit more cheerful um, in the winter. I'm actually getting really excited for spring. I have some spring bulbs starting to peep up. Um, so that gives me hope. Um, I'm not really a winter person. It's my least favourite season, but it comes every year, so I deal with it. Okay, so first up I want to show you, I got some gorgeous fake flowers, and you guys know, um, if you've watched any of my like room tour videos, I'm obsessed with fake flowers because my house doesn't get much natural light. They make it really cheerful. I don't have to worry about watering them. They last forever, and all you have to do is dust them. Um, a few people give out that they collect dust or whatever, I suppose if you're asthmatic, whatever, you they probably aren't good for you, but I just hoover them when they're grand. So I got two sets of faux flowers today. I have this one here that is in a jug, and I'm going to put these in the kitchen, because the kitchen could do with um, having a little bit, something cheerful in it, because it's the first place I go to every morning is the kitchen. I got this vase set in Dunn Stores, um, and it is kind of expensive, however, I did get my mom's staff discount, um, so that made it a little cheaper. But for the vase and the faux flowers, it was 40 euro, and then I also picked up a smaller one in the similar style of flowers, similar kind of colour to my bedroom, and that one was much cheaper at 10 euros. This is the other little set of faux flowers, um, and these match the colour of my bedroom. So basically, I have a new bedding set in the bedroom, which I'll talk to you next. And these pick up on all of the colours that is in the bedding set. So a nice way to kind of give your bedroom not a makeover, but just give it a little refresh is some new bedding and some little trinkets that kind of pick up on the colours. So in December, I got some new bedding sent over from the guys at Christy. If you watch my London vlog, um, they were one of the sponsors for the blog wars that I was in just before Christmas. I wanted some new bedding around Christmas time, but I didn't want your traditional kind of Christmas duvet because you only kind of get to have it for like the month um, and then you have to pack it away for the rest of the year. So I got a, I was kind of thinking ahead, I was like what kind of bedding set can I get that will be really nice in spring as well. But I went for the Harrow set, Harrow or Harlow? I'll put the correct name here. So this is this darker pink burgundy, it's just the colours in it are amazing. So it's a floral bed set. Um, and it has the matching pillowcases and I also got the little cushion as well. There is a bedspread that matches that cushion, however the bedspread was out of stock when um, I was picking the bed set. As my bedroom is really neutral, um, that's a little tip as well, if you do keep things neutral you can experiment with your bedding and your trinkets, you can change your colours up so easily. And um, So as it is quite like neutral and white, like I just have the striped wallpaper, the white bed and um, furniture, um, when I change my bedding, it's like always having a new room. So as soon as I put this bedding on, um, it also feels really comfy too. My favourite thing to do is wash the bed sheets, throw in loads of the fabric um, softener that smells delicious, um, it smells like lavender, um, iron the bed sheets and then put them on and that's what I've actually done today. So I can't wait to go to bed tonight because I'll have deliciously smelling fresh sheets. I'll make sure to pop a link below to the bed set if you do want to check it out. Okay, the next random thing in my haul is the copper kettle. So if you follow me on Snapchat or Insta stories, I was in Aldi like two weeks ago and um, I have absolutely no need for a whistling kettle, but I just, I was shopping and I just got nostalgia took over because the whistling kettle brought me back to being a kid and we would have had, when I was really small, we would have ha would have had a whistling kettle in the kitchen. Um, and I've always wanted one, but I have like an induction um, hob in the kitchen. 
So I thought you could only use them on like gas flame cookers. So when I saw the copper kettle in Aldi and I saw that it said can be used on induction, um, I had to have it. And the novelty has not worn off um, the whistling kettle. And it actually doesn't take that long to heat up. Um, my actual kettle is kind of on the way out. Um, I'm waiting for it to fully break. I think it's, I think the lime scale is after attacking it. So I have my whistling kettle on standby. Um, but yeah, the whistling kettle is so much fun. It's copper and it looks cute on the counter as well. So next up is, over Christmas I got sent a lot of press samples of candles. And I think I've burnt nearly all of them now. However, I kept two of the scents for after Christmas just so I'd have something kind of to to still burn because just because Christmas is over it doesn't mean you have to stop burning the cinnamon, orange and bergamot, no. Keep, I'm like, keep burning the lovely smelling winter candles for as long as you can. So the first candle set is from an Irish brand and um, this was sent as a press sample and I had gotten their stuff a couple of months ago at the start of last year um, and the scent is, it's really I'm going to say strong, but it's not overpowering, if that makes any sense. I know it's really, really hard to describe the scent of a candle. What I love the most about this brand's candle is after you burn it and you just leave it sitting, I have mine in the hallway, when you like come home from work the next day, you can still get that smell. Um, I don't like candles where you burn them and as soon as they go out, you can't smell them anymore um, or the smell doesn't linger in the house. So that's the one thing I love about the field day candles is... Um, long after you have like bl blown them out, you get that lovely after kind of scent. Lundy has joined us as well. As soon as she sees the camera and the tripod, I think Blondie thinks I'm talking to her when I'm talking to you. I think we're just gonna have to do the video like this now. Yeah? Okay, Blondie. The next candle set is also an Irish brand and it was sent over from Max Benjamin. And this one smells, this is more spring-like. So I have put this one in the living room. I love reed diffusers and I love having, I'll have one upstairs, one downstairs because when you change rooms you get a different smell if that makes any sense. Don't how your nose gets used to the smell. First of all with this candle set is I love the packaging. I love that bright kind of green colour and the little floral sticker on it. So first of all it looks really cute in the room and second of all it smells like a perfume. So you know when you smell a candle and you can be like oh that smells like orange or something like this. This just smells like a perfume if that makes any sense. I'm not very good at describing candles. I think it's very hard to describe a scent. Um, you just kind of have to smell it for yourself. So at the moment I have that candle and re-diffuser burning in my living room um, because that's where I go in the evening and um, when you come home from work I always go straight to the kitchen and then when I do all my like blog work whatever it's straight to the living room for like an hour whether it's to read watch TV, it's a complete just chill out zone. So last in my random haul is stationery. So as it is the start of the year, um, I had a couple of like notebooks and planners sent to me um, because I, a few brands had saw that I had done my like goal setting blog post um, and it got to the point where I had to actually tell brands, I'm sorry, I can't accept any more notebooks because um, I'll have notebooks coming out of my ears. And um, so I had to turn down press samples of notebooks. But there was one that I really want to show you and it's from an Irish brand. So I'm going to be shamefully not going to try pronounce this name. And I'm Irish and I should be able to pronounce this Irish name. I'm going to say Lanoon. 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 I don't know how to pronounce this. However, it's an Irish brand. So support Irish. What I loved about their 2018 planner was um, it's all around chasing your goals. So there is a section for like to-do list, your daily to-do list. But what I liked the most about it was I had like reflection on it. So what I learned today, things I'm thankful for, um, self-love, things like that. So that's kind of why I like this one as opposed to other planners because it did have that and it was about, you know, what have you done to get closer to your goal. Um, there, at the start of each month, um, you've got a monthly planner and then things you want to do, people you want to see. Here's Blondie. I can't make any videos without these cats just jumping in. I also love that at the start of February, it says collect beautiful moments. Um, and I'm going on a fun trip in February, which will be, so February is a month that I'll be collecting hopefully a lot of fun moments. I also 
got sent over. These actually just um, arrived on Friday. So it was a little press package from HomeSense. Um, you guys would have saw my HomeSense haul last year and I'm obsessed with the stuff from HomeSense. So I do love a blank notebook. So basically, when it comes to writing down ideas and just things that pop into my head, I have a blank notebook. Um, because when it comes to creativity, I don't like dates, I don't like a time, I don't like anything in the notebook. I literally just want a blank notebook. Um, and here there is also, this is a gorgeous little letter set. Um, so we have a little mini notes, um, what would you call that, like a little mini pad. Um, and then you have some of these little things that are good to put in your planners. Those little, what would you call them, reminder thingies? page markers page marker it also came with deadly gold clips and if you watch my baking tray notepad diy um you could use these for them so this these gold little clips that will look deadly on the notice board and um, so you can pin your little reminders and notes there and it also came with these little just a note and pink envelopes which i thought was really sweet so that was a nice little set um, so I know everyone in January is mad for the bits of stationery, so all them bits were from HomeSense. So there's just a few new pieces that um, I picked up in the last kind of two, three weeks. I'm also going to just slot in a little one to two minute um, clip of the house after Christmas. Um, so if you wanted to see my Christmas house tour for 2017, I'll link that below. Um, you guys will remember I had my Christmas tree in the bedroom, I had a Christmas tree downstairs. I felt like I had so many Christmas trees. My God, it was hard putting them all back up in the attic. So the master bedroom has no Christmas trees, back to normal. The living room is back to normal. The kitchen is back to normal. So I'll slot in a little montage of how the house is looking now after Christmas. Do let me know if that is something you kind of enjoy watching or you enjoy seeing. Also, hands up who couldn't find their decor when they went to put it back out. So, I took all my kind of shabby chic and trinkets and put them in boxes and put them like away for Christmas. So then I packed Christmas away and then I went to put all my trinkets out and I was like, I could have sworn I had more. So I bet I'm going to find a box of trinkets somewhere because um, I'm like, it, it looks too bare. But I hope you enjoyed my little mini um, house tour after Christmas and I hope you enjoyed my mini haul. Please let me know which kind of piece was your favourite and what you're kind of picking up yourself for the house. Um, what are you guys doing in your homes to make it more cosy um, for January? everyone thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel please do hit that subscribe button and for my usual ladies give me a cheeky thumbs up and you can also head on over to instagram facebook snapchat i'll leave all my handles down below if you want to come on over and give me a follow over there thanks for watching and i'll see you in next week's video bye